favorite scene in Skin and Bones was the scene where Max first sees Liz after she's come back from Florida for the summer. I thought that there was something really great about the way she looked when you sort of through Max's point of view. There was this great awkwardness between the two of them, watching them see each other for the first time and knowing that they both had all these feelings for each other but had to cover them. And I thought that there was something very poignant about that scene for me. I mean, it's interesting how you, you do an, an episode and there's a big storyline where the bones are dug up and then also, of course, Nisato being killed at the end of it. The reason why we made that choice to do that, although I love that character, was because we felt that it would put our main cast in a more difficult situation to have to sort of deal with who their enemies were and, and what they were about without having a protector. The challenge I felt stepping into this episode was to make Tess a legitimate player in Max's life, to acknowledge the fact that she's disliked by the other characters. I really, I did not like the way she was looking at him. And by extension, a good chunk of the audience, simply because, you know, the Max-Liz relationship is so strong and so central to the entire series, and then when Tess was brought in late last season, you know, it's you don't want to like her. I mean, that's I think that's easy. You don't want to embrace this, this newcomer who seems to be upsetting, you know, the magic of, of Liz and Max, but there she is. And so this seemed like the opportunity to say, well, look, she's got her own problems, you know, and she's, she's vulnerable and she knows that she's disliked, and yet what else is she going to do And this man that guided her her entire life is suddenly dead and she's cast aside, no one cares about her, and Max starting to feel guilty. I really like the scene where he finds her in the park and then he walks her home. I kind of always thought that that was going to be a, a great opportunity to bring Tess into the fold and make her a little more part of the Roswell family than I think she was. She's always going to sort of be the outsider because she came late to the party, but it, it seemed like a good opportunity to embrace her in some ways.